There is a shortcut to learning about science, and today I'm going to show you a shortcut to the shortcut. You probably already know that many scientific terms have Latin roots or Greek roots. For example, a word ending with A-N-E, as in hexane or propane, refers to double covalent bonds. Likewise, the root cry, C-R-Y, as in cryogenic or crystal, means cold or frozen. An easy trick for memorizing these Latin and Greek terms is to put them in different categories. For example, you could spend a week studying the suffixes that describe the chemical. You'd look at maybe A-T-E as in carbonate, which refers to a negatively charged ion. E-N-E, which is a double covalent bond, as in benzene. And of course, the A-N-E we looked at above is in propane, which is a single covalent bond. Once you have a list of terms to memorize, you can put them in what we call a memory mansion. This is like a floor plan of your house, and you imagine what you do when you wake up in the morning, think of your daily routine, and associate each word with one of the rooms or one of the steps in your routine. When I wake up in the morning, I often cry because it's so cold. Remember that cry, as in crystal and cryogenic, means cold or frozen. Next I go to the bathroom where I squeeze a bar of soap. Remember that bar is like the term barometer or barometric, and bar means pressure. After the bathroom, I'll go into the kitchen where I notice there's a halo around my salt. Remember halo is in halogen, means salt. Hello, Jim. Then I'll drink some orange juice, which is an acid. And while I drink this orange juice, I'm going to say hi to my cat. Remember that hi is in hydrogen, which is an H plus ion, which is what's given off by acids during a chemical reaction. As you add your living room, dining room, and other aspects of your daily routine, you can associate them with different terms you're trying to remember. You'll be amazed at how quickly you can memorize all kinds of important scientific facts.